Did you know that the ocean is so vast that it contains over 99% of the Earth's living space? The ocean is really, really deep. To put it into perspective, if we were to remove all the land masses from the Earth's continents and islands and use them to fill the deepest parts of the ocean, the entire planet would be submerged under an ocean that stretches two miles deep. Despite its immense size, we have only explored about 5% of the ocean floor, leaving much of its mystery still waiting to be uncovered. The sunlight zone of ocean. Most of our planet is covered in water, about three quarters of it. And that water goes way deeper than just two miles. Let's think about size for a moment. This tiny dot represents an average person. This slightly bigger dot is the size of an elephant. And this dot here is the size of the biggest ship ever made, the Nock Nevis. Now let's dive underwater and see what's down there. The first stop is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the deepest you can go for fun, scuba diving. A bit deeper, at 93 meters, is where they found the wreck of the Lusitania. What's interesting is that the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, so it sank in water shallower than its own length. Imagine if it was standing upright, it would poke out of the water, just a bit deeper. At 100 meters, diving can get seriously dangerous because of something called decompression sickness. But that didn't stop a guy named Herbert Nitsch from setting the world record for free diving at 214 meters deep. Yep, he swam down there with just one breath. But a little further down at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record which was accomplished by another man named Ahmed Gabra. If he had swam down another 111 meters then, he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. And a little further than that at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of blue whales, the largest creatures on the planet, and also the limit of the U.S. Seawolf-class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters below the surface, we encounter another remarkable depth, the maximum dive depth of emperor penguins. Now let's talk about water pressure. It's a real game changer down here. At this level, the pressure exerted by the water on a person or those penguins would feel like having a polar bear standing on a quarter but let's venture even deeper into the abyss. At 830 meters below the surface, we've descended to the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building on land, the scary zone. Once we reach 1,000 meters below the surface, things take a dramatic turn. We're now entering what can only be described as the scary zone. Light from the surface can no longer penetrate beyond this point, plunging everything into perpetual darkness. And as if that weren't enough, the water pressure at this depth is akin to standing on the surface of the planet Venus, a lethal environment for humans. It's a place where survival is nearly impossible. And if the extreme pressure didn't already pose a threat, this is where you'd come face to face with the elusive giant squid, a creature of myth and legend lurking in the depths of the ocean. Descending to 1,280 meters, we encountered the deepest dive ever recorded for a leatherback sea turtle. The journey into the abyss doesn't stop there. At 1,828 meters, we'd find ourselves at the deepest point of the Grand Canyon if it were submerged beneath the ocean alongside us. We enter a realm where things start to get seriously spooky. Here, lurking in the darkness, is the menacing black dragonfish, a carnivorous predator with a stomach that absorbs light, rendering it invisible in the pitch black depths. If you ever come across one of these creatures, you'll need a trusty flashlight to catch even a glimpse of its eerie form. Venturing a bit further down to 2,250 meters, we encounter depths reached by both sperm whales and the formidable colossal squid. These titans of the deep engage in epic battles, leaving scars and sucker marks on the bodies of the whales. The colossal squid, with its massive size, reaching up to 14 meters in length and weighing as much as 750 kilograms, boasts eyes the size of dinner plates and razor-sharp sickles in the middle of its tentacles. It's a fearsome predator that commands respect in the dark, mysterious depths of the ocean. Way down deep at 3,800 meters, we find the RMS Titanic wreck. Abyssal Zone. Around 4,000 meters, we're entering what's called the Abyssal Zone. The water pressure down here is crazy high, about 11,000 pounds per square inch. In these deep parts, there are some really weird creatures, almost like they're from another planet. 
We're talking about creatures like the fangtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. At 4,267 meters, we're at the average depth of the ocean floor. But some places in the ocean go even deeper. For example, at 4,791 meters, you'll find the sunken battleship Bismarck from World War II. Way down at 6,000 meters is where the Hadal Zone starts, named after the underworld Hades. The pressure down here is nuts, about 1,100 times more than what you feel at the surface. That's like trying to balance an elephant on a tiny postage stamp, or carrying the weight of 50 Boeing 747 jumbo jets all by yourself. Down at these depths, the pressure is so intense that you'd be squished instantly without any special protection. But somehow, Life manages to survive down here in all sorts of weird forms. At 6,500 meters, we hit the deepest dive limit for the DSV Alvin, a famous research submarine that's been vital in discovering underwater secrets, including the wreck of the Titanic. Way, way deeper at 8,848 meters below the surface, we're at the same height as the tippy top of Mount Everest, except flipped upside down and underwater. But even further than that, at 10,898 meters is where James Cameron took the Deep Sea Challenger mission in 2012. However, the deepest humans have ever gone was way back in 1960. That's when Don Walsh and Jacques Picard descended to a depth of 10,916 meters in their Trieste submarine. It took them a whopping five hours to make the journey through the ocean's depths, and they only stayed down there for about 20 minutes before a window cracked and they had to start heading back up. Just a little bit deeper, at 10,972 meters, we've reached the typical cruising altitude of a commercial airplane. So, if you've ever peered out of a window during a flight and looked down at the ground below, that gives you a pretty good idea of just how incredibly deep into the abyss we are right now, the Challenger Deep. To the deepest point on the planet. The voyage deep into the sea. Film director James Cameron has made history. It's 36,000 feet down. That is seven miles to the bottom. Mount Everest could fit in a trench with 7,000 feet to spare. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we've hit the bottom of the deepest known part of the ocean, called the Challenger Deep. It's located on this map about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. But many experts think there are probably even deeper parts of the ocean that we just haven't found yet. After all, it wasn't until 1997 that we discovered the Serena Deep, which plunges down to 10,732 meters, making it the second deepest spot we know of. And get this, we've only accurately mapped about 5% of the ocean floor. That means a whopping 95% is still a complete mystery. Who knows? It might only be a matter of time before we uncover an even deeper part of our ocean.